hello dear students good morning to each one of you hope so you all are fine and enjoying these digital classes dear students yesterday in my video uh, i have told you about the bohr's model and its limitations so today uh, in this unit 2 structure of atom we are going to study about the next topic that is dual behavior of matter that is called de broglie equation and the heisenberg uncertainty principle so dear students before going to start this topic let me uh, recap little bit and let me tell you a uh, little bit again why this topic we are going to study as we have studied in limitation of bohr's model one of the limitation was there the serious blow of bohr's theory came from certain new principles such as de broglie relationship and heisenberg uncertainty principle because according to bohr's theory an electron follow a fixed circular path with definite energy and both its position and direction can be well defined however this principle these two de broglie equation and the heisenberg uncertainty principle according to this principle it states that the path of electron is not definite okay and it is probable nature so moreover an electron has both wave and particle nature according to this so in simple words let me tell you so uh, the word dual dual behavior of matter the word dual came from two it mean that a uh, matter that is behaving like two nature all the light on electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic radiations it behave two nature wave nature and particle nature wave nature is uh, explained by jc maxwell in 1870 according to him that lambda is equal to 1 upon mu not and particle nature is given by max planck in 1900 that is e is equal to hv okay so so uh, let's discuss about the dual behavior of matter basically it is known as de broglie equation if in exam it is coming uh, with the explained dual behavior of matter or it can come the uh, described de broglie equation so my dear students this is same concept so you can write so uh, in 1924 a french physicist louis de broglie according to him all moving particles all moving particles which is called electrons all moving particles basically microscopic as well as macroscopic macroscopic mean big have dual nature they those particles are behaving two nature one is wave and second is particle as you know that proton around the proton electrons were revolving as bohr had described electron is revolving in a fixed path and it is continuously moving so now de broglie is showing ki that electron is moving like a wave this is wave nature in wave also electromagnetic radiation we discussed that wave having two property electric property and magnetic property so that is relating from that it state that the microscopic particles is having wave nature and particle nature particle nature is continuously it is mo in momentum it is moving in a momentum so that's why it is called particle nature so he state that lambda is equal to h upon mb now from where this equation came that we will state uh, we will derive where lambda is wave nature and mb is particle nature lambda is representing wave nature and mb is representing particle nature which is called momentum also so let's discuss about the derivation of de broglie equation which is very very important as your examination point of view also so dear students please go through this video properly try to understand and pay full attention so de broglie derived relationship with the help of two theories basically he clubbed two theory one theory is according to planck's theory second is einstein theory according to planck's theory e is equal to hb A is equal to h c into upon lambda equation one. E is equal to m c square is lambda uh, is equation two. That is according to Einstein. So you can see here energy is given as h and v, uh, and here energy is given with the m c square. So we will write by comparing both the equation. Uh, h c upon lambda is equal to m c. We can write this equation, and lambda is equal to by uh, reshuffling the value. Lambda is equal to h c upon m c square, where c is cut with the c, and it becomes lambda is equal to h upon m c. This is the equation three. Here c is velocity of moving particles, and h is Planck's constant, m b or p is momentum of moving particles, and c is v is which is moving particles. Okay, so equation three become now lambda is equal to h m b. In place of c, we can write v because c is also velocity, v is also velocity. So uh, h is equal to h upon p. in place of mb we can write p as we know mb is equal to p okay so mb is equal to p and hence the equation become lambda is equal to h upon p and lambda is inversely proportional to p so p is particle lambda is wave so it mean that wave nature is inversely proportional to particle nature so thus we conclude that the wave and particle nature of moving material object are inversely proportional to 
each other okay so uh, let's discuss about the limitation so dear students how we have derived this value from here to here you can see and you need to drive in the same way if you are not still understanding you can ask me i will make it in some different way okay so discuss about the limitation uh, basically what is the limitation of de broglie it has been earlier states that the de broglie's equation relationship must cover the uh, according to him every moving object microscopic as well as macroscopic but practically it has no relevance for the moving semi micro or macro particles it is applied only for the microscopic particles yes that is for electron proton and neutron only not for macroscopic particles as de broglie states that it is the all the moving particles microscopic as well as mic macroscopic but later on it found that it is not for macroscopic it is only for microscopic this was the biggest limitation of de broglie so uh, according to that uh, now hope so you all understood this let's discuss a little bit relationship between the kinetic energy and de broglie equation as you know that kinetic equation is also there uh, e is equal to half mv square so if we will write 2 me is equal to half mv square into 2m so it is nothing it is just a, we are relating the de broglie equation by two mass energy into two mass so mv m2 m2 into v2 by calculating all or mv is equal to 2 me half just calculate this We are according to de Broglie. Lambda is equal to h m b. So in place of h m b, we will write now two m e. So it become lambda is equal to h two m e whole square power half. Okay. So dear students, it's time to check your progress. Have you understood or not? So in PDF, which PDF I am going to share with this, there it is differentiate between particle and wave that you need to do. Differentiate between electromagnetic waves and matter wave that you need to. Third, some numericals are there which is which can be asked in the examination also. Which is usually coming that in numerical related to de Broglie equation. So de Broglie equation is what lambda is equal to h upon m b. So here the question is given find the wavelength of 100 gram particles moving with the velocity of 100 meter per second square per second uh, uh, time speed. Sorry, according to de Broglie equation lambda is h m. So whatever is given, this is the first rule. What is given that we will write m is given 100 gram. So in kilogram it is 0.1 kilogram. V is given 100 meter per second. So h is given 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 3. Four. When we will put all the values here, the answer is coming six point six. So there is nothing. It is very simple. Very three steps. Basic three step. Number one formula. Number two given. Number three put the equation in formula and calculate. Okay. So this is a de Broglie equation. But this is half topic. In next video, I am giving you next topic that is Hessian answer. Uh, Hessian work uncertainty principle. Okay. So from again, once again, from where do the behavior of matter came? it came already we studied wave nature of particles and sorry wave nature of matter and particle nature of matter but de broglie has clubbed both the uh, nature and he said all the moving particles that have dual nature it means that all the moving particles show wave nature as well as particle nature okay now what is heisenberg uncertainty principle that we'll study in the next video so till then stay safe stay home thank you have a nice day